Welcome to the Clear Checkbook tutorial series. Clear Checkbook is an application that helps you manage your finances online. Want to get a real grasp on your financial health by seeing exactly what's happening with your money? Viewing all your transactions clearly is fundamental. Our transaction register is designed for just that purpose. In this quick video, learn how to navigate your complete transaction history, see account balances, use powerful filters, and manage entries. The transaction register can be found by clicking on the register link in the main navigation. Your transaction register shows you the account balances for the currently viewed account in the account overviews box. The Register Options box provides ways to change the view and behavior of your transaction register, which I'll cover shortly. You can expand the Account Balances box to view all your account balances in one place. Below that is where you'll see your actual transactions. This list layout can be adjusted so you only see the data you want. I'll show you how to do that later in this video as well. If you have multiple pages of transactions, you'll see the page numbers listed at the top and bottom of the transaction list. Also at the top and bottom of the list is the With Selected options. These are ways to quickly manipulate your transactions. Now that you've seen a quick overview of the layout, let's dive into how all these various elements fit together. We'll start by looking at the transaction list. In my sample transaction register, I'm currently viewing transactions for all of my accounts. You can see withdrawals are shown in red with a negative sign in front of them, while deposits are shown in green. In addition to the amount, each transaction shows the date, cleared status, account, category, and description. Since I have the Clear Checkbook Premium membership, I've also added some custom fields such as the check number, payee, and running balances. If you split a transaction, you can see the split details by clicking on the splits link next to the transaction description. Modifying a transaction is as easy as clicking on the transaction to bring up the edit transaction form and making your changes. If you're using the clearing method to reconcile your accounts, you can click on the check mark in the clear column to mark the transaction as cleared. For more information on this process, check out our complete clearing tutorial video. Need to modify several transactions at once? Click the checkbox on the left side of those transactions and then select the appropriate action from the With Selected Action bar. In this example, I'll mark three transactions as cleared. You can change the sorting of the transaction list by clicking on a column header. If it's able to be sorted on that field, the header will appear blue. Clicking on the header again reverses the current sort on that column. Adding a new transaction can be done directly from the register by clicking the Enter a Transaction link or the plus sign at the top right side of the page. I'll make a sample post-dated transaction so you can see how future transactions are handled in the transaction register. This will be a transaction dated one week from now and will be for $45. I'll give the transaction the description of electric bill and say I'm paying it from my Wells Fargo checking account. After adding the transaction, you'll see it has shown up in my transaction register. If I refresh the page, you can see that post-dated transactions appear above a line and have a tinted background to them. Notice how the account overviews has changed slightly after adding the post-dated transaction. There are now two different balances one that shows you the overall balances regardless of what the date of the transactions are, and another that shows the balances of all transactions up through today. This way, you can use the transaction register as a way to forecast your spending and saving. A lot of our customers will post date upcoming bills, expenses, and salary deposits so they can see where their balance will be in the future. The difference between the balance and cleared numbers are that the balance column is the sum of all your transactions regardless of their cleared status. The cleared balance is the sum of just your cleared transactions. Now let's look at the register options box. The view row is how you can filter your transaction register 
to only show specific types of transactions. In this example, I'm having trouble clearing my account and want to see if I accidentally marked a previously cleared transaction as uncleared or I added it to the wrong account. I'll click on the uncleared link to see all of those transactions. Keep in mind if you change the view setting, this persists even after you leave the page or log out. I'd recommend changing the view back to all when you're done looking at the filtered transactions. The next section in the register options is selecting which account to view. Free members can view transactions for all accounts or a single account at a time. Premium members can select multiple accounts to view at once. I want to view transactions for both of my credit cards, so I'll select those. You can see my register has updated to only show those transactions, and the account overviews has updated to show the balances for those two accounts combined. I'll go back and select all accounts again and then change the number of transactions being viewed from 30 to 75. This is much easier to view a large number of transactions and is really helpful if you're trying to manually clear your transactions. Both the account selection and transaction count selection will persist even after logging out and logging back in. If you're not seeing the transaction you expected, take a second to make sure you're not viewing transactions for the wrong account. The last row you'll see is a tools link which provides easy access to some of our tools that are directly related to the transaction register and your transactions. You may have noticed a grayed out box that says account balances. If you expand this, it will show the balances for all of your accounts that have at least one transaction added to them. These balances will update as you add transactions and help give a better idea of all of your account balances without having to switch between your accounts. The next two topics I'll mention are premium features that can be enabled and modified through the settings page. The first is customizing the layout of your transaction register, and the other is turning on an upcoming transactions box. First, let's see how we can customize the transaction register layout. To do this, click on settings at the top right side of the page, then click on Rearrange Transaction Columns under the Premium Membership section. The page will load a form where you can select which elements you want to show up in which location in each transaction row. Maybe I'd prefer to have the pay show up below the description. I can change the current pay box to the Skip option and then adjust the desired select box to say Pay. Once I save it and go back to my register, I'll see those changes applied. Now my payees are showing up under the description, giving it a much wider space for text. The column that the pay was in is now empty and the other columns have grown to fill the space. The last item to cover is the upcoming transactions box. This is a way to quickly see all of your upcoming bills and recurring transactions and how they'll affect your balances directly from the transaction register. To turn this on, Click on Settings at the top of the page, then click on General Settings. Find the setting named Upcoming Transactions on Register and change it to Enabled. Now I'll save the settings and go back to the register to show you the change. The Upcoming Transactions box will show the next year's worth of upcoming transactions. This is very similar to the way the Future Balances tool shows all upcoming transactions. Scrolling to the bottom of the Upcoming Transactions box shows you both your minimum and maximum future balances. If you're afraid your balances may go negative and cause an overdrawn scenario, check here to see if that's going to be the case so you can plan accordingly. There are a lot of ways to customize and make the transaction register work for you. Take some time to look through your transactions and see what settings work best for you. You can learn more about all of the settings and features related to the transaction register by clicking on the green help link at the top right side of the transaction register page. This is another reminder that I have the premium membership applied to my account, so some of the features you see may not be available if you're a free member. 
To learn more about our premium membership and all of the features it contains, visit clearcheckbook.com.